So, this is home. A little spare, don't you think? Thought I'd have more dancing girls? <laughs> now there's a thought. I'm just saying maybe you should consider conserving ammo and installing seats with upholstery. Think about it. Keep the place clean, and we'll talk. I guess I can live with it for now. We can't all be fabulously wealthy criminal masterminds, but this bounty hunting gig seems straightforward enough. Besides, I like the idea of doing the chasing for a change, even if I am slumming it. Oh, it's good to relax. This is as close as I'm getting to it these days. Could have fooled me. <laughs> Laugh all you want, it's hard work relaxing. I've spent so long keeping one step ahead of somebody, I can't believe I've lost them for good. At least when I'm out with you, I usually know where the blaster fire's coming from. Keeps my mind off trouble. Mostly. The less time you and trouble spend together, the better. You've got a marvelously camouflaged sense of humor, you know that? Let's see how easily you brush off your old instincts and catch 40 winks after you've spent 30 years bounty hunting. You can sleep when you're dead. It's so nice to have a partner concerned with my health and well-being. Come on, I think I've had my fill of all this cheering up. You know, you're pretty quick to sniff out an opportunity for profit. Flattery won't get whatever you're angling for. Oh, I was just making an observation, but now that you mention it... I wonder how much more lucrative our little partnership could be if you applied that intuition to something other than bounty hunting. Leave me out of your scheming. Don't sell our partnership short. My abundance of skills and expertise are always at your disposal. It just so happens that most of my expertise is in crime. Mull it over. I hate to see so much potential go to waste. I've been thinking it over, and I see a lot of room for improvement maximizing your profits. Take catching me, for example. Sure, you got a nice bounty from the Great Hunt, but why stop there? You just need to use a little imagination. This have something to do with your duplicate? Nothing slips past you, now does it? A few words in the right ears, and you could make a lot of money on poor Tiresias's remains. If you don't mind double-crossing crime lords. Offer the body, see who bites, rob them blind. <laughs> Couldn't be simpler. I get dirty enough handling my client's funny business, thanks. Think of it as just another job. I'm a client with a strong personal interest in seeing Tiresias avenged. And what better tribute to the late me than ripping off the scum who put me there? So, that suggestion I had involving my duplicate? Turns out there are a lot of folks out there who've still got a bone to pick with the late Tiresias Loci. A little friendly competition couldn't hurt our final take. I'm thinking an auction would do the trick. In my experience, auctions in the underworld don't mix well. Oh, sure. Get enough bad seeds in one place, and something bad's bound to crop up. A little weeding out takes care of that. Give me some time off the ship, and I can handle the whole thing by proxy. The only finger you'll have to lift will be the one accepting your credit transfer. Try anything cute, and it'll be a two-for-one sale. Cute's not really my style. Besides, I'm still recovering from the last time we crossed each other. I'll be back before you know it. What? No parade? No, oh, not even a cake? How oh, about at least mustering a good to see you for the guy holding your share of the credits? I take it the auction went to plan. I don't know whether to be flattered by the numbers. You're cut. Pretty good take, considering the expenses. The bidders really couldn't wait to take Tiresias off our hands. I didn't expect much to come of this. I know you didn't, which, if you'll recall, was my point from the start. You might say I've got some experience duping these suckers. Three pirate crews, ten free traders, two exchange bosses, half a dozen huts, one I don't even remember crossing. Kept licking his lips, and I think his name was Druga. It was quite the rogues' gallery. A lot of familiar faces. Brought back memories, let me tell you. Those Gerards had some lovely finery, just collecting dust. I thought we could make sure these get put to better use. You're giving me something worth money? Hmm, gesture of good faith and all that. Figured if I'm stuck here, I might as well lighten the mood. 
Unless we find a collector, we'll need to fence these. Quick turnaround will forfeit a big cut, but it'll be a nice bonus. I've got better things to do than haggle in pawn shops. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Let me tell you a little thing about opportunity. How about you just tell me what you want? Listen, I met this group of Arcona colonists in Masila while waiting to get off planet. Seems fresh water is hard to come by on Kona. These rubes heard about moisture farming on Tatooine and figured it was their ticket to riches. Fleecing these yokels will be like taking candy from a baby. The key is finding the right scheme. You really enjoy seeing what you can get away with, don't you? Surely a Mandalorian can appreciate testing one's limits. Moisture farmers aren't exactly rolling in credits, but a whole colony of them can add up. Remember those Arcona colonists I was telling you about? Well, I've got the perfect racket to skim a little profit off those moisture farming saps. Salt. As in table salt? Well, I'm not talking bath salts, considering water is a luxury good. Listen, I've got a theory. I used to know this spacey Arconan bagman back on Nar Shadda. Thought the guy was a spice head for the longest time. Turns out I was only half right. This guy's cravings were something else. Your friend had some sort of reaction. Can't say for certain, but I've got my suspicions. One night, after making our handoff in some dive diner, he orders some garbage soup and dumps an entire shaker of salt into the bowl. Should have seen the way this guy went at the stuff before stumbling out of the place like it's last call. Your money's on these colonists having the same craving. Ten to one says there's something about salt that those wedgeheads can't resist. We're gonna sell those colonists the answer to all their woes, specially formulated and offered exclusively through Rowing Industries. If I'm right about how much Arcona loved the stuff, our biggest problem will be keeping up the supply. Meet our new product. Had our salt shipment bottled as special tablets to help organics retain water. Now we just need to seal the deal. I want you with me when our prospective buyer calls. Keep him from getting too comfortable. We'll be meeting an Arcona named Gruna to convince him to act as our supplier to the colony. I thought you were going to be the supplier. Unless you want to start making regular trips to the middle of nowhere, we need a middleman. This chump would do anything for enough credits to get off Tatooine. I don't think it'll take much to get poor Gruna to bite. Gruna, good to hear from you. Looking well. Lose some weight. Oh, him? Never mind him. Had to let go of my last security detail in favor of this one. Consummate professional. Say hello. Manners aren't part of the job description, you understand. You know, Gruna, I'm a bit of a philanthropist. Did I mention that? Rojaman. My visit to Tatooine left me inspired by the plight of rugged folks like yourself trying to squeeze life out of that dust bowl. Making life easier for the little guy, that's my motto. And helping you hardworking souls is now my personal mission. <clears throat> Sorry, dry air. So, as I was saying... The top chemists at Rowing Industries developed this little wonder for us. A compound designed to maximize water retention in organic life forms. The benefit to hard-working subsistence farmers such as yourself is immeasurable. It's a better plan for your savings than investing in this garbage. This is lower than I'm willing to sink, Galt. I must be having some kind of flashback. <laughs> Can't find decent help these days. Just uh, let me handle my associate and we'll finish our business. Snap out of it, buddy. It's Geller. Geller Rowing, your boss. Don't mess this up. Need me to remind you who's boss? Oh, he's off, if it means that much to you. I can't even begin to express my disappointment. Looks like I'm sending you the whole shipment, free of charge. Choke on it. Well, since we both know how sensitive you are about robbing the poor, let me remind you of the benefits of robbing the rich. You remember those little trinkets that happened to come into our possession on Alderaan? 
I managed to sell most of the stuff right back to the nobility at a tidy profit. You did the work. You get the spoils. Very generous of you. Very foolish, but very generous. Thanks. Notice anything different? About you? Can't say I do. Good. Money well spent. Just acquired some nice form-fitting blast armor. Thought I'd see if it would stand up to a trained eye. Apparently so, if your observation is any indication. The equipment I'm providing not cutting it? No complaints. This is purely supplemental. Since I'm still putting myself in harm's way, I decided to make a little investment in my well-being. Been stocking up on interesting tidbits at every port we've hit. From here on, I'm ready for anything. So, what do you know about Hilo Viz? Uh, I've heard the name. She was some big-time spacer, wasn't she? Ah, uh, you could put it that way, if you're partial to understatement. She broke the Mandalorian blockade at the Hidian Way. You know, the one that strangled Coruscant and dashed a full-scale Jedi assault. And it wasn't out of the goodness of her heart, either. Credits were involved. A lot of them. I bet more than a few people would be willing to pay to have a word with her. That'd be difficult to deliver, considering she's dead. Anyone asking about Hilo isn't looking for a chat. Most think the Huts were behind Hilo's disappearance, but anyone who knew her could tell you they'd have better odds winning a marathon. No, she's still out there. Somewhere. Never took you for the type to get starstruck. What now? We've got history. Hilo was my old partner. More than that. That blockade run was the last thing we ever did together. Like I said, a lot of credits were involved. When I saw the opportunity, I took off and left Hilo holding the bag. Stupid. You double-crossed your own girlfriend? Technically, she wasn't my girlfriend when I double-crossed her. I was young and naive and maybe a little afraid of commitment. I didn't know what I lost until it was gone. Listen, I found out that an old associate from that blockade run is still around and kicking. A mutual acquaintance. I owe Hilo one last visit. If he knows where she's been laying low all this time, I've got to track him down. I caught up with that old associate from the blockade run. Old Quan and I had a nice little chat. He was surprised to see me, to say the least. Did he know anything useful? Before I had to end Quan's retirement prematurely, I convinced him to fill me in on some gaps in our history since the blockade run. When the Huts came looking for their return investment, Hilo Viz smuggled herself off to Republic space with the help of another free trader. That definitely increases her odds of being alive. I'm not so sure, given where she was headed. Remember Zale Barrows? She cut a deal with that twerp to hide her on Del Savas. If she's still stuck there, this is my chance to swoop into the rescue. I've got to go after her. You're deluding yourself. All that time running make you forget how to face consequences? I'm suggesting risking my neck on the off chance I can save someone who hates my guts. Of course I'm deluded! If I don't make it, well, thanks. I don't think Tiresias would have ever gotten this opportunity. When did you get back? Oh, a little while ago. I wasn't exactly in a talkative mood. My little pipe dream involving Hilo went about as you'd have expected. I'm here, if you want to get it off your chest. I'm not exactly used to spilling my guts, but okay. After all these years, I finally caught up with her and she hadn't changed a bit. I found her on Del Savas in some sort of stasis chamber. It was like I just left. She wasn't in a forgiving mood. If she'd had a blaster, she'd have shot me the moment she came to. Lucky for me, she recognized that prison wasn't the place to hash things out. She took off the first chance she got. Hardly the reunion I was looking for, but I got her out of that pit. That counts for something, right? Well, now you can get over it and move on. Yeah, maybe. If you'll excuse me, I need to create a hangover to nurse. You're not gonna believe this. I heard from Hilo. She's willing to take me back if I'm willing to show she means more to me than me. Sent the message certified, credits on delivery. Oof, almost cleaned me out just to have it delivered. 
She's nobody's fool. Never was. If it had been my plan to steal the money, she'd have sniffed me out. That just sort of happened. I learned my lesson. I feel like I'm back in my prime. Not that I'd slipped, I'm just unburdened. I owe you for that, so I thought I'd say it. And don't go making a big deal out of it. Glad I could help. Really. I've gotta hand it to you. You really surprised me. You're not what I would call a conventional partner in crime. But we're really turning out to make quite the team. Letting you live was one of my better decisions. Uh, I do think it's because we got all of that pesky trying to kill each other out of the way early. You and me, we're going to carve out a criminal empire, or at least accumulate one heck of a fortune. Your children's children won't know what to do with it. I'm telling you, wild space is the limit. Have I mentioned how much pulling that little con has improved my mood? I think that auction put to bed any lingering doubts that Tiresias is dead and gone. And aside from knowing my new identity ought to stick, I'd almost forgotten how much I love a good scheme. Does this mean you're gonna stop pacing the ship at all hours? Sure, sure. Unless I'm planning our next big score. It's hard to work a proper hustle when you're on the run, chum. I've pulled more heists than cons in recent memory. That was the kind of racket my former partner preferred. Simple, bold, effective. Used to argue about that a lot. How'd you two part ways? We had different ideas about where we were headed. Well, water under the bridge. My preference is to be long gone by the time anyone gets wise. That's a lot easier without bounty hunters breathing down my neck. It's about time I got back in the game. Can't afford to let myself get out of practice, after all.